Welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this instructional video, we will calculate the head loss at a straight run of pipe with laminar flow. I hope you find it informative. We have a 20 foot, 1 inch diameter pipe. Oil is flowing with an average velocity of 1 foot per second. The specific weight of the oil is 50 pounds force per cubic feet. The dynamic viscosity of the oil is 5 centipois. The unit of centipois is not an English unit, however, it is a common unit used in the petroleum industry. Typically, samples of the oil or crude are sent to a laboratory for testing. Centipois is a typical unit used for the results in determining the dynamic viscosity. The conversion to more familiar English units is shown here. Our goal is to find the head loss in feet. The title of this video gives away the fact that the flow will be laminar, but we still need to confirm laminar flow by calculating the Reynolds number. The darcy weisbeck equation can be used to calculate the head loss. We know everything in this equation except the friction factor. In general, the friction factor is a function of the relative roughness and the Reynolds number. However, in the case of laminar flow in a circular pipe, the friction factor can be calculated with the equation 64 divided by the Reynolds number. Care should be taken. This expression is only valid for circular ducts. Similar expressions can be derived for other geometries, i.e. rectangular ducts, but in general they will have a different constant, i.e. not 64. Once we confirm laminar flow, we can use this approach. Let's calculate the Reynolds number. A Reynolds number less than 2100 indicates laminar flow. As is typical, the challenge to these types of problems lies in the proper use of units. Let's convert the dynamic viscosity to English units. Now let's work on the density. The approach shown is not unique, there are options. If you are not familiar with all of the unit conversions, I have another instructional video that goes into great detail. Now we have everything to calculate the Reynolds number. The calculated value was 1238, which is well below the value where we have to worry about transiting to turbulent flow. We will treat the flow as laminar. Now we can directly calculate the friction factor, which comes out to be 0 0.0517. Plugging everything into the darcy weisbeck equation, we obtain that the head loss is equal to 0.193 feet. Many of you may be wondering why we didn't just go straight to the equations for a hagen poiseuille flow. In fact, we did. The definition of the friction factor equal to 64 divided by the Reynolds number is an extension of those flow equations. The pressure trough for this type of flow can be calculated with the following equation. In future instructional videos, I'll work some examples using this technique and possibly the derivation of the hagen poiseuille flow equations. I hope you found this snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.